Well, the fish, the fish that live in a, in a country, in some ways, just more of a portrait of a country in a way. The shape of a fish is such a beautiful streamlined shape. Perfect genome you know, form, function dictates form, the way they, they just have to get through the water, I suppose, and so they're just, they're perfectly evolved shape for living where they live, underwater and moving quick. Some of the fish have interesting stories. Yeah, there's one here, I can see the tiger trout here, only, only is in um, Tasmania. Uh, the trout, I'm pretty sure, was imported from, from Europe, though. They were brought over and then they've just, you know, flourished here. Well, the carp is really multiplied a lot and they apparently, they kind of take over, take over the, the rivers quite a lot and other fish can't, because they live such a long life, the carp too, they live like 80, 90 years, some of them get to be a huge scale. The lungfish, I'm pretty sure, is one of the oldest fishes in, in the world, you know, like the shape is, goes back, you know, hundreds of thousands of years, and it, it only ex it's only in Queensland, the, the lungfish, and it's the fish that can walk on land. I do quite like painting fish. I think they're a beautiful shape. So I, I think I picked fish when I went through the books that just appealed to me for whatever reason, just the shape or sometimes the names. You can you see the complexity of, of the world, I think, and the different, just the different shades from light to, light to dark, I suppose, that exist everywhere, really. There's, there's always a lot more than what seems to meet the eye, I suppose, once you look underneath. I have caught a few fish in, fish in my time, but so few that I can probably remember every one I caught, because I probably caught less than 10, so you do, you do remember reeling them in. But, um, and they, they taste good fresh caught too. There's nothing quite like a fresh fish when you eat it. So.